Hello, my name is Clarissa Doe. I'm currently a student here at Bellevue ROP. I'm enrolled in the pharmacy clerk class taught by Mr. Garcia. This will be the first of many classes that I plan on taking in order to build my foundation for my ultimate goal of becoming a plastic surgeon. By taking these classes, I will be exposing myself to the medical field at an early age. My pathways include pharmacy clerk, healthcare occupations, emergency medical responder one and two, medical assisting one and two, sports medicine, LVN, forensic science, and criminal justice. Since I am only a freshman, I will be able to complete all these classes before I graduate. One of the things I have learned in pharmacy clerk class was the concept of cross-contamination. It is the process by which foreign chemical, microbial, or physical substances are transferred from one substance or object to another. In this case, this would be the cross-contamination of medication. This contamination can lead to harmful defects that will affect the purity and quality of the pharmaceutical products, which can lead to negative health impacts when used by humans. To reduce the risk of cross-contamination within medication, a clean workspace is needed. For this video, I will demonstrate how to clean the laminar airflow hood, where IVs are prepared. Before you start cleaning your LAF hood, you'll first need to acquire all of your materials. You'll first need shoe coverings, gloves, a protective gown, a face mask, and a hairnet. And to clean your LAF hood, you'll need clean wipes specifically made for this and sterile 70% isopropanol alcohol. The first step is to put on your shoe coverings. After you put on your shoe coverings, you'll next need to put on your gloves. After you put on your gloves, you'll next need to put on your protective gown covering. After you put on your gown covering, you'll next need to put on your face mask. After you put on your face mask, you'll finally have to put on your hair covering. After you put on your hair net, you're ready to clean your LEF hood. Grab your wipes and your alcohol and you're ready to go. Start by folding your wipes into fourths. Remember, when cleaning your LAF air hood, never spray your cleaner directly into the HEPA filter or touch the HEPA filter itself. Do not wipe in a large circular motion across the work surface as it is most likely to spread contaminants and particulate matter that will be introduced into the rear portion of the hood as they are captured, deposited, and carried from the front side of the LAF hood. When cleaning a new surface on your LAF hood, remember to always fold your pharma wipe to a new clean side. Spray below your eye level. Cleaning the workspace, you'll need to start from right to left, moving in a back and forth motion. Each pass when cleaning should overlap the previous pass by at least 50%. Please remember, the workspace is always the last surface that we will be cleaning. Remember, after cleaning your LAF hood, dispose all of your pharma wipes as well as your gloves and your gown. And remember, after you remove all your protective gown covering, wash your hands. I would gladly recommend this class to any of my friends because it is fun and educational. Also, it teaches us things that we don't learn in a traditional classroom. 
I have learned a lot from this class that I know would help me with my future goals. This class has taught me basic pharmacology, the healthcare delivery system, health insurance, customer service, and the basic skills needed for employment as an adult. My name is Clarissa Doe, and I want to thank you for watching my presentation. Thank you.